In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I make a makeup brush holder with a lid. Now, I found that to be pretty important here in the recent days because of the dust and stuff, the natural dust that's in the air. It gets on your makeup brushes and then you put it on your face. Not good. So, um, I have a little article. I'll share that with you real quick. So, there are endless amounts of articles that you guys can read about how much bacteria is actually on our makeup products y'all it is crazy so they done this test this is what it was they done this test swabbing makeup products and just kind of summing it up here it's pretty shocking and they couldn't believe how much bacteria had grown in a 48 hour period and they set it to 98 degrees because that's the degree of the human body so if we had this on this is the bacteria that come off the foundation highlighter stick lipstick eyelash curler wow <laughs> eyeshadow i'm just i'm really surprised at every bit of this beauty blender so these are some things that can happen if you don't store your brushes properly and keep them clean. Your pores can get clogged up and that makes sense because you've got so many days, weeks, months, or years even built up in your brush of powder or eyeshadow. You can get a staph infection. I actually read that on every makeup article um, related to this topic your makeup will look worse so for flawless makeup if you keep your brushes clean and you use them the way they're meant to be used then obviously your makeup stays fresh and new also you could get pink eye this bacteria that builds up is just serious <laughs> you can have irritated skin and that makes sense Ultimately, you'll waste your money and nobody likes wasting money. You can pull your eyelashes out. And here it's talking about the little eyelash curler. Risk getting more wrinkles. What? Not cool. Not cool. And then you may even attract bugs. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have a lid on my brushes. All right, so now that we know how important it is to cover our makeup brushes, this is what I came up with using materials from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to be doing is putting all of this makeup, which is what I use on a normal or regular basis, in these um, organizers. I'm going to open it up, take the wrap off, and pull the drawer out. And on one side, you will see these grooves like this. On the other side, it's more um, slick. With the grooves facing the wall, I'm going to fill this up with acrylic gems. And Dollar Tree has acrylic gems in the floral section uh, from time to time. Sometimes I don't see them. But they also just started carrying some LED tea light candles. There's gems there. And, but you could also use the little pebbles in the floral section, the glass gems, or even um, I've seen someone on Pinterest use black eyed peas and they spray painted them. And that was actually pretty neat. But I found a big container of them, of the gems, at michael's and i used it was twenty dollars and i used a 40 percent off coupon and so i didn't really spend a lot of money on them and i love the different sizes that was in this container now i for this i'd rather have the just the small ones because the big ones are kind of in the way but this is just what i had and so i went with it the lid i'm just going to be using another container and i'm just going to set it right on top for the knobs, I'm just going to use these acrylic gems that I have. Now, the Dollar Tree has um, some of those rings in the kids section, and it has a pretty good size diamond. Actually, I think it's a little bit bigger than this one. So, if you like this design, that would work great. I really, really like these containers for this purpose, and I really love how this is just so encased <laughs> but um to keep it from sliding around i'm just going to add some glue around the rim just in a couple of spots it doesn't really slide around that much 
but I want to stop for a moment and give Ava Lee the credit for the glue on the rim idea. She actually has a video showing makeup brushes DIY Dollar Tree and I'll leave that link below and again I just want to give her recognition for that idea because that's where I had seen it. I'm storing my smaller brushes inside these drawers and y'all it is the perfect size for these small brushes. And I'll be adding glue on the top and using one of these Dollar Tree organizers and this is actually a 5x5 five five and it has little dividers in it for nail polish, lipstick or anything you want to use so I'm going to be storing makeup on top. Thing with the opposite side I'm just going to take a drawer and put some glue on it but the organizer that I'm going to be gluing on top of this one has bigger dividers and it's a five by six so it's got a little bit more space and the dividers are a little bit different I actually planned on using a five by six on both sides I really like the dividers that are in the five by sixes or the bigger ones but when I got home it was cracked so I had to use a small one on the other side I really love the edgy modern look of this design. I like the square designs anyway, but I think what I really like the most about this is the slender chic part of this and how you could probably store it just about anywhere or set it on top of anything and it wouldn't require this that much space for the brush holders anyway. So another idea that I wanna share with you guys is this vase finally i finally found a clear one at dollar tree and i've seen these vases before i've just had a hard time the past several weeks trying to find it in a clear version but what i've done was just took a lid off of a container from the dollar tree and glued a gem on top of it so this is something you could throw together in a matter of seconds you could run some hot glue around the top rim of it so your lid wouldn't slide around you may find a lid that fits even better in maybe the kitchen aisle on a bowl or something. But yeah, so this holds the tall brushes and you could even store the small brushes. My personal favorite part of this is the drawer space for the small brushes. That's actually my preference. And I just like having its own little space and not mixing it with the taller brushes. So you don't have to like stick your fingers down in there and kind of dig around and try to grab the right brush. So it really works and I love, I just really love how this all comes together. And it's so, so organized, especially after seeing some of the articles that I've seen. I'm really loving this. So that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even learned something and this week's quote comes from my dear friend miss tammy b jones she also has an awesome diy channel and i'll leave her channel link in the description below as well her quote is those who believe will achieve awesome tammy thank you for sharing that with us all right so i'll see you very soon in the next video many blessings everyone you guys are awesome love you see you soon bye